No Time for Goodbye was, as they say, a real game changer for me. Uh, it was a huge bestseller in 2008 here. It had been one of the Richard and Judy Summer Read picks and ended up as their sort of winner of the Summer Reads at, at the, uh, that fall. And its success was, was uh, astonishing to me. Uh, it was just overwhelming. And it was a wonderful thing to happen. Um, and it still seems kind of unreal that it did. And it was a wonderful way to launch me for, for readers in the UK. And the, the only great, you know, the only sort of tricky thing about having a great bestseller, having a book that everyone loves, is then you have to do another one. And everyone's going to compare it to, to the other. So if you had a great hook, a great premise for one, you need another great premise for all the others. But since then, I think that uh, we've, we've, it's, it's gone all right. We've been about six books now since No Time for Goodbye. And all of them seem to have been well embraced by the, by the reading public, for which I'm immensely grateful. But the trick is always trying to find that next great hook. And you're always looking back thinking, can this be as good or can I make this one even better than the, uh, than the book that's come before? And that's always the challenge.